Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Give137 coming at you with a, another quick video. Um, obviously, as you can tell by the title, you already know what this is. Um, these gloves I bought a couple of weeks ago. I bought them just after Christmas as a present, really, because I'd start to run out of gloves. I only have my F lines left uh, and the Spencer goalkeeper gloves that I recently did a review on as well. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy a pair of these because I've had my eye on them for a while. Um, so obviously by the title you can tell it's the one of the new just for keeping neo gloves it's the hybrid cut so it's a very it's just big, probably the exact same cut as uh, you see on the Nike VG3 um, the only reason I didn't choose the Nike VG3 over this glove is because this is a lot cheaper um, and I've had just for keepers for about 60% of the time while I've been goalkeeper so I thought hey, I'll stick with it um, yeah I'll just talk through gloves quickly uh, as you can tell, it's got the two rolled index and pinky fingers and then a negative cut seam on the two middle fingers, a uh, wraparound thumb. Uh, it's a new thing just keeps it doing as well with all the gloves. I think now they're doing an all-round cut so the latex doesn't cut off down the side of the hand, it works all the way around the glove. Um, again, normal wrist strap, just a latex wrist strap, a little air personalisation that just keeps an hour offering. Uh, palm on the glove is a 4mm latex palm. Uh, when you buy this glove it does actually come with a plastic film over it so you do have to remove that before using it. If you wanna say something, say it now Cause I ain't got the time to be waiting around Come on, tell me what you're feeling, use your mouth If you wanna say something, say it now If you wanna say something, say it now yeah. As you can tell, I've used these gloves uh, quite a few times, washed them. I need to give them another wash, just a little bit dirty. But the tackiness of these gloves is ridiculous, even straight from the bag when I first bought them. Uh, you could stick the gloves together and they would not come apart. As you can see, oh, they don't do it anymore, but they used to do it. And gloves still good. It's brilliant in both wet and dry weather. I've used it, obviously with it being winter around here. In England, it's always chucking it down, so it's always wet. But the grip's been outstanding in them. Uh, they are my match gloves at the minute. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, not really much I can say about the gloves apart from that I really like them. Again, like I said, the reason I chose them was because they're cheaper. Uh, they're the exact same build as the Nike VG3s, but just because it's not a massive brand, the price tag isn't 50, 60, 65, 70 pounds. But it's people's preferences really, obviously I prefer just for keepers and F-Line while well, I've been playing, I'm not a big brand fan uh, that's just personal opinion, you might be a complete opposite to me I hate the smaller brands, but each their own really uh, if you guys have got any comments, please feel free to leave them in the description not the description, the comment section down below and I will try and do my best to reply to all your comments uh, anyway guys, it's been Buggy17, hope you enjoyed this video